Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to create WordPress user for Fluent CRM contact. So today our objective is that whenever we get a new contact in our Fluent CRM, then we want to create a new user using that contact in our WordPress account. For that, we are going to create an integration between Fluent CRM and WordPress. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pavli Connect, we are going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Fluent CRM. In Action application, I'm going to use WordPress. So how I am going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are working on WordPress. So this is my WordPress account. And it is a content management system that lets you use templates and plugins to create a business website, blog, professional portfolio, or any other site. And in this, we have a plugin called Fluent CRM. We have this here. I will open this in a new tab. So Fluent CRM manages your leads and customers, email campaigns, automated email sequencing, learner and affiliate management, and monitor user activity. Here our objective is that whenever we get a new contact added in our Fluent CRM by filling out the form, then we want to create a new user in our WordPress account with the same details. For this, we will create an integration between WordPress and Fluent CRM. For this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, you can just sign up for free. It will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in. And you will see this page. Here, these are all the tools that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. It will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section and we can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we are going to create a workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on Create Workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as my objective, which is to create WordPress user for Fluent CRM contact. Now I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I will select home and I will click on create. So this will take me to this most important window of my workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So trigger says, when this happens, action says, do this. So these are the two main principles on which my workflow works on. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we will first set up our trigger and here our trigger application will be Fluent CRM. I'll search for that and I'm going to click here. Now I have to give a trigger event. So I will open this and new entries will be my trigger event. So I will select this. And I have to connect my Fluent CRM with Pabli Connect. For connecting my accounts, I'm going to use this Webhook URL, which is going to work as a bridge between Fluent CRM and Pabli Connect. For connecting my accounts, I need to follow all this instruction. So for that, I will first copy this link. Now I will go back to Fluent CRM. Here, I will go to Automations. And I will click on Create New Automation. Now, first I will give an internal label. So I will name it as Testing. I will scroll down and I will select this new form submission. So this will be my trigger for automation and I'm going to click on continue. Now I have to select my form and I will map all these details here. So I'm going to use this form which is Fluent CRM contact. So I will select this and in the fields, I'm going to map all these details. So in the first name, I will open this and I will map this names and in the bracket, I will have first name. Similarly, I will map the last name and the email. Now I will scroll down and in the subscription status, I will select subscribe and I'm going to click on save settings. Now I will click on this plus button. Here in the action blocks, I'm going to select this outgoing webhook. Now here I have to paste that link that we have copied from Pabli Connect. And in the data send method, I have to select post method. Similarly, in the request format, I will select send as JSON format and in the request body, full subscriber data and request header as no header. Now I'm going to click on save settings. 
I'm going to draft this. Now we'll go back to Public Connect. And here we can see it is waiting for WebHook response. Now what we need to do is we need to open our form and create a new contact by filling out the form. So for that, let's go back to Fluent CRM. And here I will go to this forms. And in this, we are going to use this Fluent CRM contact form. I will go to actions and I will preview my form. And I'm going to fill dummy details here. So my first name will be dummy. Last name will be lead. And my email will be dummy lead one two at the rate padditudes.com. And I'm going to click on subscribe. Now we'll go back to Fluent CRM. I will go to contacts. And here we can see we have created this new contact, which is dummy lead. And this is the email address, which is dummy lead one two at the rate padditudes.com. Now we'll go back to Pabli Connect. And here in the response, we have this response of the new subscriber. And the status is subscribe. Last name is lead. Full name is dummy lead. First name is dummy. And the contact type is lead. And the email address is dummy lead12 at the rate pablitudes.com. Now what we need to do is we need to use these details and we need to create a new user in our WordPress account. For that, we will set up our action. And for this, I will open this and I will search for my action application, which is WordPress. I'm going to select this and I will give an action event. So my action event will be create a user and I'm going to connect my WordPress with Public Connect. So I will click here. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting my WordPress with Public Connect, I need to give all this login credentials here. So I'm going to fill all these details here. So I have filled my login details here and I'm going to click on save. So I have connected my WordPress with Public Connect. Now I'm going to fill all these details here and I'm going to use mapping here. So what mapping is, Mapping is a technique through which we can retrieve the data from the previous tab and the data we are getting is continuously changing. So this new data will get replaced in the real time. So for mapping, I'm going to click here. I will open this response and first I'm going to map the email address. So this is the email address that we want. So I'm going to select this. Similarly, I will give an username. So the full name of the contact will be the username. So I'm going to map this. So as a password, I will use the first name and I will give a combination of hash one, two, three. So this will be the password and I will map the first name. Similarly, I will map the last name and the full name, which will be used as a display. So I'm going to map this and in the role, I'm going to give role of subscriber. So I'm going to select this. So I have filled all these details here. So I'm just going to click on save and send text request button. So here in the response, we have this. So username is dummy lead, name is dummy lead, and the first name is dummy, last name is lead, and the email is dummy lead12 at the rate pablitudes.com. So the, and we have nickname, slug, and other details here. And the role is of subscriber. Now to check this, let's go to WordPress. And in the WordPress, I will scroll down and I will find users. I will open this. And here in the user, I will search for the user that we have just created. So the name of our user is dummy lead. So I'm going to search for that. And here we can see we have this new user, which is dummy lead. Let's open this. So we have these details here. First name is dummy, last name is lead, and the nickname is dummy lead. And the email is dummy lead12 at the rate pablitudes.com. So this is the same contact that we have created on Fluent CRM by filling out the form. And we have just created this user in our WordPress account. So we have successfully created this workflow and our integration between WordPress and Fluent CRM is working smoothly. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And let's summarize what we did here. First, we have set up a trigger 
and our trigger application was Fluent CRM and our trigger event was new entries. Then we have set up our action and our action application was WordPress and our action event was create a user. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow and I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Public Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.